Greetings, it's Maxo Diddly here, and today I am going to be showing you how to check if a year is a leap year using C++. So let's get right into it. So, a leap year contains one additional day that is added to keep the calendar year synchronised with the astronomical year. A year that is divisible by 4 is known as a leap year, however years divisible by 100 are not leap years, while those divisible by 400 are. So that sentence I just gave, at the end, is going to be the foundation of how we're going to validate a leap year using C++. So we're literally going to convert that into code. So let's get right into it. Firstly, make sure you import IO stream and string. Then we're going to do in our main method, SCD string input equals 2912. This variable represents user input. Click the eye up in the corner if you want to know how to get user input in C++ as this tutorial just covers how to validate input. And then we're going to do stdc out, std bool alpha, and then is leap year input. We'll get back to this in a second, but bool alpha basically means all our booleans are going to be printed as true or false, as opposed to one and zero, makes it a bit more readable. And stdc out is just printing stuff to the console. So let's go and define our is leap year function. So right now we have got a is leap year function. So we do bool, because we want to return a true or a false, is leap year, that's going to be the name, and std string, year to check, that's going to be the string which contains the year that we want to check. So firstly, we're going to do a try catch statement. We're going to do try, catch, three dots in the brackets, and then some more curly brackets. And basically, just in case the user decides to be funny and then put something that's not an integer, we are literally just going to make sure the program doesn't crash. There, is, there are other ways to validate an integer. Click the up in the corner if you want to know how to validate an integer using C++ using a way that doesn't rely on try catches. Inside for try, we are going to do int year equals std stoi year to check. This line of code will literally just convert, or try to convert, what's in a string to an integer. If it fails, we execute what's in the catch state. And then after, we're going to do this long return statement. So two things. Firstly, it will be in the description below if you just want to copy and paste. Secondly, this return statement, a very simple way of describing the sentence I talked about at the beginning. A year that is divisible by 4 is known as a leap year. However, if the year is divisible by 100, it's not a leap year, while those divisible by 400 are. Firstly, how do we check if a number is divisible by something? Well, we can use the mod or the percent sign to do so. So basically, when we do um, a number mod by another number, we are, ve we are going to basically be checking what the remainder is. And if the remainder is zero, that means the number perfectly goes into the other number. If there is a remainder, then the numbers don't perfectly go into each other. Uh, if we want to check if a year is divisible by 4, what we do is to do year mod 4 equals 0. Because this means there are no remainders, therefore 4 perfectly goes into the year, or the year is perfectly divisible by 4. We can take the same approach for checking if a year isn't divisible by 100. So we can do year mod 100 is not equal to 0 in this case. We can also then do the same for the 400 rule. We can do year mod 400 equals zero. So let's go over this entire line. We want to do return three brackets year percent for double equals zero bracket and bracket year percent 100 exclamation mark equals zero two brackets or bracket year percent 400 double equals zero bracket bracket semicolon and so a valid a valid leap year can be divisible by four and not divisible by 100 or it can be divisible by 400. in our catch we're going to do stdc out error occurred new line and that's it for this tutorial so we're going to hit control s to save our work and we're going to try out a bunch of years. So we're going to try 2,912. And that's a true, because 2,912 is a valid leap year. Also, there will be a link in the description to a list of leap years so you can test this out. Also, if you want to limit what years you can check, you might want to do a range check or some kind of length check so people don't enter numbers that are 10 digits long. If you want to to do that, click the eye up in the corner. Let's do 2,600. 
and let's see what happens. And it's false. Now let's try 2024 and see what happens. And it's true because 2024, as of watching, as of recording this tutorial, is going to be our next leap year. Now let's do the forbidden year. And it's true. Now let's try 2023, which is the year this video is being filmed in. And it's false. Let's try one more. Let's try 2019. And it's also false. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe.